will non-Muslims go to heaven? If you are a non-Muslim, will you go to heaven or will you go to hell? I know a lot of people uh, wonder this question. A lot of people, particularly Muslims who are prone to spirituality, are asking this question. And I'm going to explain this as well as I can, inshallah. Um, and the answer is not black and white. It is about if you reject Prophet or not. It's all about Prophet. This is the criteria, the Furqan. But when we say Prophet, we are talking about light of Allah manifesting in human form. We are not talking about necessarily what a group of people narrate being the teaching of prophets. That's not what we are saying. We are talking about the true prophet, the Nabi Mustafa Alameen Sallallahu who lived, who manifested here, pure love, pure light of Allah. So Prophet Muhammad is pure love, pure light of Allah. The real prophet, not other people's narration of prophet, but real prophet. You can never reject uh, light of Allah, pure love, pure light in human form and get to heaven. That is never going to happen. If when the pure light and pure love of Allah manifest in human form, the ones who are drawn to this light are the mukmin. They are the believers. The one, when this light comes to earth in human form, the mukmin will run after him and do everything for him and say, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, you are, you are from Allah. You are an enlightened being. These are the mukmin. These are the believers, the people who believe in their heart, Muhammad and Rasulullah. Muhammad is the light of Allah. He is the messenger of Allah. These are the mu'min. These are the people of the Jannah, the people who recognize that this is the light of Allah in human form. This is the same when Jesus was here. The people, the believers, were the ones who are, this is, this is the light of Allah. This is, this is from God. This man is from God. He's enlightened. Mm -hmm. And when all the prophets are here, is pure light, pure love manifesting in human form. The believers are crowding around them. Some believers like Abu Bakr al-Siddiq are so passionate about this light that they are willing to give their life for prophet. Yes, these are the mu'min. The kafir are the ones who reject this light when it comes. They are hateful, jealous, and bitter at it because either the light challenges their rule Either the light, uh, 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 you know, uh, is, is better than them and they are jealous. These are the kafir. These people will never enter heaven. They have pride and arrogance of shaitan and they are going to burn in hellfire. Hmm? When Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu came, the, the rejecters, they rejected him. Hmm? When Jesus came, the rejecters rejected him and they tried to kill him. Anytime this light manifests in human form, people are going to... Be drawn to it, and people are going to reject it. This is what Muhammad Rasulullah means in the Shahada. So people who are non-Muslim today, are they going to go to heaven and hell? That very much depends on if they reject the light of Allah manifesting in human form or not. Because the people who reject Islam today, there, there, there are two categories. There are those who don't know Prophet Muhammad, those who don't know that this light, this pure love, this pure light manifesting in human form. They don't know it. If they would know it, they would believe in it. Those people are not people of hellfire. Those non-Muslims are not people of hellfire. And this is also confirmed by the hadith where Prophet said, the Jews will be divided in the future into 71 sects. One of them is right, 70 in hellfire. The Christians, 72 sects. One of them is right, 71 in hellfire. Uh, Ummat, 73 sects. One of them right, 72 in hellfire. So Prophet has said that there are doors open in at least Judaism and Christianity. Now you cannot say that all Christians are going to burn in hell. That is against hadith of Prophet Muhammad. You cannot say that all Jews are going to burn in hell. That's against the hadith. And then the question is, what about the unnamed prophets? Some of which may have gone to Asia. Was Lao Tzu of the Taoism an unnamed prophet? The, the people who follow the way of Tao, are they rejectors of light manifesting in human form? We don't know that. We don't know how those people would have reacted if Prophet would stand right in front of them. If they would re accept, yes, then they are mu'min. If they reject, they are kafir. But I believe that many people who today who may be call themselves spiritual or Buddhists 
or something like this. If prophet would live today, they would call him Bodhisattva, uh, Maitri, he's the savior, he's the this and he's the that. They are the movement. Okay, so this is about uh, faith or re rejection. This is, this is what it is about. Mm -hmm. uh, so with that said, there are many people who are quote-unquote non-Muslim today uh, who are actually believers because they have not seen the true light of prophet. They don't, have not seen that real prophet. If they would, uh, they would uh, completely be his followers. Those are the movement. In the same way, there are Muslims today who are not real believers in Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu as said in the Hadith on the 73 sect. They believe in a man-made narration of Prophet that is created by extremist groups. But that narration, that image they have of this strict, angry uh, uh, Muhammad Sallallahu is not the real Rahmatul uh, Alameen, uh, the real mercy to mankind as the real prophet was when he lived 1,400 years ago. So there are non-Muslims who are believers. If prophet would be here, they would completely follow him. And there are Muslims today who label themselves as Muslim, who are actually kafir, who do not... Uh, Oh yeah, and, and kafir is muhmin kafir. It's not Muslim, non-Muslim. So non-Muslims are kafir. No, kafir is when you are not a muhmin, when you reject. Uh, they, they, are, they are kafir. If prophet would come today, they would say it's fake Islam. Uh, yeah, this is actually funny. Many Muslims today, if prophet Muhammad says and would uh, live, they would reject him. They would say, you are not a scholar of Islam. No, that's true. Prophet was Nabi Alunni. He was an unlettered prophet. You are, you are, this is not true Islam. Prove, prove it in Quran and Hadith. Prove it, prove it, prove it. Uh, you are a Sufi madman. You are a mystic, weird, uh, bidah innovation. They would throw these kinds of things at him. Mm. They are the kafir who would reject Prophet Sallallahu if he came today. And many of these Muslims are going to reject Imam Mahdi alayhi salam. And just in that way, there are also... Uh, uh, people of other religions, like uh, you, know, uh, you know, Buddhism, Taoism, who would not accept Prophet if he came today, they would reject him, and they are also kafir. So it's all about you know when this light of the perfect human being manifests on earth, this pure love, pure light, the muhmin will follow, the kafir will reject. It's all about that. And the Sufi teaching is that there is always an insan al kamin on earth. There is always a perfected man. During the time of Muhammad Sallallahu he came with revelation. But after that, there will always be. Because Allah does not abandon his creation. So you will always be in every time period able to see who are the muhmin and who are the kafir. Hopefully this is helpful. Assalamu alaikum.